Welcome back everyone to Elden Ring. Look at what we've got. We have the Omen Cleaver up to plus five. Now you might be wondering how I did this. Uh, very simple. I went around and I looked for smithing stones. I did look at a couple of hints on areas where to look and there's one place here with all those giants there's a hidden statue which contains like five of them. Plus the giants are pretty easy to kill with my setup and they drop like a thousand runes each so yeah I was able to farm up and with the large smithing stones or whatever they're called smithing stone twos uh, I was able to get the weapon up to plus five which makes me a lot more confident to take on Margit the fell omen. The other thing I wanted to check out is Maybe instead of the wolves, we can go for something else. Uh, summons two Godric soldier spirits. Let's try this one. The reason is, like, let's try to be tactical with these things as well. Apparently, like, each of them are, like, useful for different situations. So, you know. Fuck, okay. We're not off to a good start there. We're really not off to a good start. I really want to see how much damage this does. What the hell? Okay, it does like way more damage. Okay. Shit. Okay, this is uh, getting back into the swing of things. Type run, because I'm definitely dead here. Yeah, cool. But the damage, way better way better uh these guys are kind of shitty too they like deal no damage did you see that like barely anything was done by those two fools they're good for distraction maybe but i don't know i'm just gonna go through and try out a couple of these let's try the jellyfish i don't know what the it attacks from range but i don't know if it has like any special property I mean, it does take significantly uh, less like spirit to summon. Shit. Okay. Fuck. The jellyfish kind of sucks as well. 11 damage. Yeah, that ain't it. Might as well try the Wandering Nobles. Uh, the Sorcerer, I don't have too many hopes. Oh shit, it's like, a, it's like a lot of them. Probably gonna die in like one hit. Yeah, okay. Talk about sucking. Yeah. I think the wolves are like still the the best, right? I mean, fuck it. We've given all of them a whirl. We might as well try the sorcerer out as well. Uh, go on, little buddy. Do your best. That's all I can ask for. God, why this why is this shit so loud? Dark Souls 3 syndrome. That is a mega punishable attack too. Yeah, so those are the two easy to punish attacks he does. The big swing. Uh, I mean, the, like the earthquake attack. Oh shit, that has so much range on it. The little sorcerer has quite, like, it, he has a bit more HP, but just look at the damage he's doing. It's pathetic. Yeah, I'm sticking with the wolves, for sure. Uh, I feel like in terms of, like, cost efficiency, the best I have. Shit. 
Yeah, so that's his, like, big punishable attack. Yeah, get the hell away from him when he does that. Don't tell me that missed. It did miss. Cool. Okay, that's good. We want that. Yeah, get the hell away from him. He has quite a few... Oh, come on! Can you not get a critical? Fucking hell. Yeah, two, three, four... And five, and jump in. Oh, that's his transformation. You can do some damage to him, very minuscule though. That is a crazy cutscene. I, I don't want to watch it again, because... <sighs> Bleed him. I don't even know what he does in this phase, really, aside from the fire attack. I get the hell away from him. Okay, fire blast. Where the fuck is my HP? Oh, come on. Holy shit, that. It's really difficult to tell the range on that. I feel like... And he does three this time around, right? Yeah. I feel like if you... Like, get him with one of the fire attacks. Like, when he does that, like, flame spray. I feel like you can really, like, mess him up. Like, you know what I mean? Like, which one is he doing? No, he's doing that one. But the other one where he, like, sweeps across, that, like, looks mega punishable. This one, this one, this one. Yes. He's not that difficult. Shit. Ah, that's... What are you supposed to do against that? Hmm. Keep forgetting I have weapon buffs as well. I really should be using them, honestly. Uh, this is... This is the type of fight where... The time is right for weapon buffs. Get away. Are my wolves dead? Yeah, they are. Yeah, I think it's not even worth wasting the FP to summon. Like, they do absolutely like jack shit, so I don't know. Rather save it on the Blood Blade. You know? Yeah. That's the risk. You gotta wait for him to jump. Shit. Out of range. The only thing I don't like about this weapon is the jumping attack. Okay, watch him. And then, what if I... Ah, oh, come on. Thought you could set up the bleed. I hope you can set up the, blade, the bleed. 
Jump through. Yes, you can. Okay, I kind of screwed up in the first phase there. Uh, that attack. No, that's not the attack. I did lose a lot of HP in the first phase, so... I don't know if this is gonna be it. Not that I'm giving up. Oh shit. God damn, that is dangerous. Okay, come on. Oh. What do you do against that? Do you just have to like get out of dodge? Hmm, that's the one attack I... The rest, he's, he's not difficult, but that's the one attack I don't know what to do against. Yeah, he, he's not difficult at all. Let me tell you, I... <laughs> I've been on a fucking cuphead marathon for the last couple of days. And believe me... Uh... Like, this shit is nothing compared to, like, most of the bosses in Cuphead. Man. This game is a bitch compared to Cuphead. You ain't got nothing on fucking the bee that turns into... a World War II bomber, Godric. Thanks, camera, for cooperating. Yeah, I gotta get out of these stairs, cuz... Oh, fuck. Do that, please. Oh! Oh, he still does the roll. Okay, cool. the attack I want. Yep. Shit, mistimed. Yeah. And the thing is, if I'm gonna go for this buff tactic, I gotta make sure I do it on a run where I'm like pretty confident of my victory. What I don't want to do is waste like these magic greases. Whoa. Do the jump. Thank you. That's the big attack. Yeah, and I'd rather save any FP I have for bleeding him. Gotta be close to the bleed. Yep. Five. Kinda sucks that you can't critical attack him. Like, I'm expecting a big, like, fuck you to the face with my sword. Whatever. Just bleed. Thought I mistimed that. Yeah, I think that's a get, a get the fuck out of dodge type attack. When he does that. Oh, okay, it still hit me. What is he doing? Oh, this. God. 
Thank you. I genuinely don't know what to do against that attack. Uh, that's the one thing. Oh, the dragon. It's the one thing he does where I'm like unsure. This is not a bad attempt. Fuck. Should have been closer. Come on, do your one of... Yes, do that. Do something standard. Please jump. Okay, get some distance. Oh, fuck. Last Estus. He doesn't have a lot of HP left. Please jump. Come on. How is that not hitting him? He's dead. He's dead. 22 minutes that took. Not bad. <sighs> Can't believe it. That wasn't too bad. Genuinely. This isn't like <laughs> me uh, being uh, an asshole or anything or cocky about me. That genuinely wasn't. So Again. Right now, coming from Cuphead, this was piss easy, actually. <laughs> oh man. The great runes you received by defeating Shardbearers have lost their beneficial power. However, their power can be restored at Divine Towers throughout the lands between. See the description of each great rune to discover which Divine Tower you should visit. Okay. Remembrance of the Grafted. And some lore shit, right? Okay, we're gonna take a look at all of these in one second all right let's have a look what the hell someone's being weird over there uh let's see it's like here right no remembrance of the grafted that's like some sekiro shit How many levels, like, oh, come on, it's not even that much. I can't even get to the 19 strength needed. We're, we're going to do that in just a bit. I don't, I can't find this, like, remembrance thing. Oh, there it is. Take the power of its namesake via finger reader. What? Remembrance of Godric the Grafted, hewn into the Earth Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader. Alternatively, it can be used to create a great bounty of runes. Feeble man sought power through the grotesque act of grafting. One day, blah, 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 blah. So is this like, this is like his soul, right? From what I'm getting. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to pop that because I want to see what you can do with it. Boombox guy is pissed. Is that what's left of Godric? Oh, 
you're pretty pissed, I can tell. Happy to help. Cool. Put some fire shit into that boombox and then we can talk. Alright. What do we got? I feel like we're gonna get some story. It's his throne. Excellent. That, there's not much more you need, right? Which way? I'm guessing they're probably... They don't lead to the same place. In fact, this is a dead end, which... I can't attack. Interesting... So there might be, there's probably some like story thing here, like an important NPC or something I shouldn't kill. Cause, oh, now it... See, now this is even weirder. This just raised my curiosity. Let me just go back there. Weird. Unless I'm like super blind and I missed it, there doesn't seem to be anything there. Maybe there is going to be some NPC there later. Well, that's strange nonetheless. Still, I'm sort of wondering how far I should proceed with all these souls. Uh, I don't think there's going to be anything like menacing here. Shabriri Grape. Okay. Hello there. Does he not have a waifu as well? <laughs> Take my grapes. <laughs> yeah. That's some anime shit. Okay. Well, we got them grapes, though. Where is this gonna put us? Probably, like, logically on the other side of the castle. Putting us in a new land, I think. Holy... Fuck. Okay. Am I stoned? Liurnia of the lakes. Holy shit. This open world is like actually insane. I thought that... Listen. Because I was looking at this. I was like, okay, yeah, we're going to get this area. And we're going to get this area. And this. And there's going to be some other stuff. But... Whoa. That is woe. Okay then. Um, I don't mind. In fact, I'm very happy. But. Let's see what we can do with them grapes. Oh, it's like a blueberry from Dark Souls 3, but it's grape. Give to the blind maiden to guide her to the distant light. Okay, there's gonna be a blind maiden. Eventually. Where is our waifu, though? That's the... That's my question. And yeah, this is what we're working towards, for sure. The 19 strength. Uh, and then we'll see what else sort of comes our way. I should read what tower to use fucking Godric's shit, but I want to go back to the round table hold first. It's really weird that that small area after Godric had the same sort of like no weapon use effect. 
Oh shit. Oh, you're here as well. I thought you'd receive a summons to the round table. Nefeli Lee. We met at Stonevale. Yeah, you are pretty useless. I have something for you. I found it in Godric's grafting grounds. You defeated him. You should have it. Make good use of it. I don't intend to make a habit of scavenging corpses. Arsenal charm. Ah, yes. I wonder if you've met my foster father. He's in his study. The room entries guarding just over there. If met him. Ready, I advise you introduce yourself. Father is leader of the round table. I'm sure talking to him will be worth your while. Well, that's very convenient, isn't it? So this is the finger reader, right? No, no, it's not. What do you sell? Increases memory. This is what I was wondering. Not that I intend to use like really that much magic, but I was really wondering how you increase your slots because none of the uh, stats seem to relate to it. But that's cool. Okay, you're just silent. Sorry, I knocked over your books. Oh, she's here as well. You didn't get grafted, did you? I should have told you sooner. Isn't this place impressive though? The round table hold. Covert quarters of the two fingers. And gathering places. This sword looks pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, what we need now is some new gear for sure. I still, I don't trust her still. We'll talk to you in a bit. Hmm. Okay, can't really do much here. I can increase this misery cord. Yeah, cool. About Roderica. Oh yeah, she mentioned something, right? That she's like has she has some relation to the blacksmith. Maybe not. Okay. Good for you. I was just thinking that finger maiden. She, that she wasn't the one there. Cuz I specifically remember her somewhere. That there was this old woman God, where the hell was that? I should have marked it. It was like somewhere near the jellyfish area, right? Hold on, give me a sec. This this is it. I think she was called the finger maiden, right? Well, we're going to find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bless you. Head to the foundation of gold tarnished. Traverse Rhea Lucaria, Glenstone Eventide, and reunites the half presence at the Grand Lift. 
What are you talking about? This is what she said previously too, right? Fuck. <sighs> I really thought she was the one. Damn. Look at this again. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the finger reader. Are you the finger reader? I mean, you... This to me seems like the finger reader. I'm not gonna lie, but I guess it's not. Cool. Okay, well, I think... I've been going for quite a while. I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping up this episode here. I mean, Godric, we we got some excitement for today. Defeated Godric the Grafted. Uh, cool boss, really cool boss. Again, like, I don't know. Six out of ten on the difficulty scale, something like that. Uh, very good boss, though. I really liked his mechanics and the sort of creativity. So... What's our game plan? Our game plan is I'm going to explore the map a little bit. Obviously, this place is the, make, the main quest, like leading out towards that. But I particularly remember two places. There's this Ever Jail, which I didn't do. And there was this bridge, which, which I'm pretty sure this is the tutorial area uh, that we came from. So I'm going to take a look at this part of the map and see where it leads. But I think I'm going to probably do this, try this night, because he was mad difficult before, but it'll be interesting to see now. But now I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode of Elden Ring. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this a like, comment, subscribe if you're new here, turn on post notifications, and I will catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.